Today, I wanted to film for you a video on very bad, bad beauty habits. Things that a lot of people do and that we should probably get into the habit of breaking. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have a little list. The first one, which I have which is super important and I'm not going to lie, I'm super guilty of doing this, is sleeping with your makeup on. Um, this is really bad and you're going to yell at me, but probably more often than not, I sleep with my makeup on. Uh, I work third shift, so I get out of work at 7 o'clock in the morning and I am just ready to crash. Like, I want to hit the bed and pass out and never wake up again. And taking my makeup off is the last thing on my mind. So, um, I don't always do it. I've been trying to get better about it. All I have is liquid makeup remover. I really don't like using that. So, I'll skip it and I'll just go to bed. Um, but I've been using these towels, towelette things. These are the Neutrogena. These are the ones for sensitive skin because the other ones burn my eyes. Um, makeup removing towelettes and I really suggest using these because I actually will keep these by my bed and I will come home at 7 o'clock in the morning and I will pass out on the bed and I'll just like reach over and grab one and like wipe my face off and it's actually it's really really great because I've been taking my makeup off with when I have these so um, I'm gonna try and always keep those stocked up because then I can get all my face makeup off you know most of my eye makeup off and I really doesn't take much effort to do it so, um, yeah, if you guys are like me and you always sleep with your makeup on, it's just so bad, don't do it. Um, I would suggest getting some kind of makeup removing um, wipe instead of liquid makeup remover, and uh, that will do you wonders. You'll find out like how it's so much easier, it doesn't feel like such a burden, um, it doesn't take that much time to take your makeup off with those. So I'd really suggest checking those the out. The second terrible beauty habit is not moisturizing your skin enough. Um, I know a lot of people with oily skin, they don't want to moisturize their skin because they feel like it's going to make it oilier and that's the exact opposite of what it does. Your skin produces oil to compensate for dryness, so if you're not moisturizing, it's going to create more oil to try and compensate for it. Um, I actually started moisturizing my skin when I started taking Accutane when I was about 19 years old uh, and my skin got super dry from that and I got into the habit of it and then after I was done with the Accutane, um, I'm still moisturizing every single time that I wash my face. So every day, twice a day. Um, but yeah, it's really important to do this. It will, you'll thank yourself for it in the long run because your skin, when you're super old, you won't look super old and it'll be awesome. And everyone will think you're all super young and you'll be a MILF and uh, everyone's gonna love it. So just, it's really important to get into the habit of moisturizing your skin. I use the Clinique Dramatically Different. Um, I use the lotion and the gel, but this is really expensive. You don't need to use this. Um, Clean and Clear makes really great moisturizers. Especially if you're just starting out moisturizing your skin, you don't really need anything expensive um, until you get like, into the habit of it and find out what you like and what you don't like. So it's really important that you get your hands on a moisturizer and start moisturizing your face. Um, back onto your face, there are two more things. Um, not wearing an SPF every day. I am guilty as crap of that one. I don't even have an SPF in my apartment. Um, and that's so bad. You're supposed to, you know, beauty community says, use it every single day, um, moisturizer, SPF, makeup over it. Um, I know that does sounds really excessive, but it will, again, do wonders. I'm getting an SPF. I'm going to get one. Uh, the one that I used to use, I, what happens is I run out and I stop using it. Um, the one that I used to have, which I really liked, was the Neutrogena like Dry Touch sunblock um, that's not greasy at all so it won't make your face greasy and that's a really great one to use and get into the habit of using it every single day because again when you're super old you won't look super old the sun is going to do more damage to your skin than just about anything else so it's really important to put some screen on your face um, any kind of SPF when you're every single day whether you're going out in the sun for a long period of time or not because every little bit of sun that gets in your skin is doing some kind of damage so um, that's really, really important that you protect your skin and your face, which is the most sensitive skin on your body. So where are your SPF? Another thing, um, which is super gross that you don't realize, is we touch our faces freaking all the time. Like, I am always touching my face. And you and I, we're always touching our faces. And that's so bad because the things that we touch during the day and then put our hands on our faces is really freaking disgusting when you think about it. So, um... 
I'm trying to get in the habit of not touching my face all the time. Which actually, the more you wear makeup, the more you don't want to touch your face because you don't want to screw it up. But man, my no makeup days, I'm just like, ah, like rubbing my face everywhere. So it's another habit that we should try to break together. Your face will be cleaner for it. You won't be introducing all those germs. I bet you, you'll even end up getting sick less often because you're not like touching something with cold germs on it and then touching around your orifices. So, um, yeah, that's a really good habit to work on breaking would be to touch your face, not touch your face so much. Not drinking enough water. Dude, all the time. All the time. I'm drinking water constantly. And you will be amazed at how good your skin will look and how great you'll feel. Um, because we're so used to drinking, like, we need juices, we have to have pop with this meal, and, like, we're never drinking water anymore. And it's just, it's so good for you to drink water. And what the heck are you losing? Like, I know people don't like the taste of water. I love water, so I can't relate to that. Um, drink it cold. That'll help, you know, with the taste, I guess. Um, and just try and just suck it up and chug water all day, every day. Um, you'll be amazed. It's, you know, there's no calories in water, so it's not like it'll kill you. Um, so yeah, that's another thing that people do that's a really bad habit is just not drinking water all the time. Another thing that will really make a difference in your skin is cleaning your makeup brushes regularly. Um, it's really important to try and spot clean them after every use. Uh, I use the Perian Spirit, which is not in front of me, it's in my bathroom. And then deep clean uh, maybe once a week or so, uh, your face brushes, and then, I don't know, however often you need deep cleaner eye brushes and they start getting gross. But face brushes are really important, especially foundation brushes, because you can get the bacteria on your face from acne, from, you know, touching your face all the time, and it stays on the brush, and the next time you use it, you're just, like, smearing it all over your face. So it's really important to wash your makeup brushes often, and it will help with breakout. Another really bad beauty habit that I see a lot of people doing is going just tweezer crazy on their eyebrows, over-plucking their eyebrows. Um, I am actually really fortunate, I can't relate to this, I've never done this. Um, my eyebrows have always kind of had this natural arch to them, I've followed it, you know, since I was younger my mom would not let me touch the tweezers myself uh, for a while because she didn't want me to overpluck my eyebrows, so I was really mad at her at the time, but thank God she did that because she saved my eyebrows. A lot of times people will overpluck their eyebrows and they will not grow back. So um, it's really important that you... Even if you have to go get them threaded, go get them waxed, or get like a stencil kit. A lot of different companies, uh, makeup companies will make stencil kits for your eyebrows and um, it'll kind of like help give you a guide of where to pluck and where not to pluck. Because if you just try and do it uh, freehand the first time you've ever played with your eyebrows or if you've never tried to do it yourself, uh, chances are you will end up over plucking. So just be really careful and... Um, Try not to overpluck your eyebrows because you can ruin your eyebrows forever. And the last thing that's a really terrible beauty habit that I am certainly guilty of is heat styling your hair every single day. Uh, we know how bad heat is for your hair. Super damaging. Um, especially the flat iron, which is my vice. I love my flat iron. So, um, try to just embrace your natural hair texture. I put a picture up on Instagram not that long ago. My hair looked freaking awesome that day. If it looked like that every day, I would never touch my flat iron, but it doesn't, so I use it way too much. So um, try not to heat style your hair every day because it'll fry your hair. And then how are you ever going to grow it long if you're always having to cut dead ends off? Like my ends are dead already. So yeah, that's all the bad beauty habits that I could come up with that I've seen people do. So um, I hope you guys like this and know what your bad beauty habits are in the comments. I'm curious. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.